Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome, or perhaps welcome back, to my channel. Each month I like to stop by and revisit a past sheet load of cards in a special sheet load rewind series. This is a good way to showcase a sheet load you might not know about or one that you haven't visited in a while. Sometimes when I do the rewinds, I switch up the cards, other times I just make a new set. Now if you do enjoy today's video and want to see more rewinds, I will have the playlist linked down in that description box below. Let's find out what month I'll be rewinding to today. This rewind is dedicated to the September 2021 sheet load of cards. Now, if you already have this download, this might look a little different to you. I did update it a little bit, switch some things up, so make sure to keep watching to find out how you can download the latest or the updated PDF, whether you already have it or this is a new one for you. This edition originally called for two pieces of 12 by 12 pattern paper and some cardstock to yield eight A2 cards. Now today I'm going to be using the dimensions to make a single card because I'm going to be using one piece of double sided six by six paper. Another thing that I changed up about the instructions is originally the piece that was on the top of pattern paper B and on the bottom, it was two pieces that were four and a quarter inches wide by an inch tall. And you know, you just put it behind that piece so it would stand out a little bit, but I decided I wanted to switch that up. I didn't feel like doing that. So the printable now, instead of showing you to cut 16 pieces that were four and a quarter by one inch, you're gonna cut eight pieces that are four and a quarter by three and a quarter inches. And then that piece will be all ready to go to get you those borders that you need. As I get into today's process, I will tell you about the main products and tools that I'm gonna use. But as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, feel free to leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty. The piece of paper I'm using today was sent to me by my crafty friend Carmen of the Choose Joy with Carmen YouTube channel. She knows I am a fan of rainbow paper and I thought this sheet from the pack, the front and the back went so well together with the rainbows and the sunshine. And like I mentioned earlier, I won't be following the cutting guides. Instead, I'm going to use those single card dimensions and I'm going to show you how I cut the piece of pattern paper. The first thing I need to do is cut this at four and a quarter inches wide because it will fill the card front completely. There is a small scrap left over and I'll show you how I use that later on to decorate the inside. Now I'm going to take that four and a quarter inch wide piece and rotate it and I did have to flip it around because the first thing I want to do is cut one inch from the top then the next piece will be three inches which leaves at two inches at the bottom. Now at this point you can mix and match them however you want. I did want the rainbow paper right there in the middle. Off camera and before I got started, I did get out a white card base and I pre-cut my cardstock pieces. This first one will be the mat for the large piece of pattern paper and the other two are for my focal point, which you'll see here there's just an eighth of an inch difference in the height and on the printable is a special note about that and let me show you what you'll need to do. The sketch suggests an angle cut into the bottom of both of those pieces and they will be aligned at the top. But so you can get the angle on the bottom the same, I do suggest aligning them flat so the bottoms meet up and then using a pair of scissors to trim it at an angle. Now when I cut it the first time I didn't quite make it down to that corner so I just re-sliced it and you'll see here that when I put them together at a little offset there's a nice yellow even border on two of those edges. For my focal point I am using the Shine On stamp set from Concord 9th and I will be using the Let Your Light Shine and that little kind of sun ray accent stamp. I thought this went well with those cute little suns on the pattern paper. 
What I want to do is start with the little Sunray accent stamp and I do want that to bleed off the top, left, and bottom of the angled white piece. So I moved that down one inch in my Misty using the ruler and then I got my stamp lined up, inked up with pineapple ink, and then stamped. Once that was done, I moved the piece up to the upper right corner of the Misty, just in case I had to do a double stamp on this sentiment, and I got my sentiment put in place. For this, for a nice crisp black, I'm using Versifying Claire Nocturne Ink. Even though I am done with stamping, I did keep my Misty out because it has a nice little lip or edge on it. I'm going to use that to help me get my cardstock pieces nice and aligned. So you'll see I put the yellow cardstock up in that corner, added adhesive to the back of the sentiment piece, and now I can just press those both up against that top edge, move the white piece over to get an even border, and then get it placed down just so those two edges are nice and flush against each other. Now for the next step, I'm going to also keep out the Misty, and this time I'm going to use it to mat my Pattern Paper B onto its pineapple mat. Now for the rest of them, I could have left the Misty out and used it to align, but I just want to show you that that isn't necessary. In the past, you have probably seen me use my score, my score Buddy in this same way to align pieces. I just wanted to show you that you can use other tools as well. Once all of the pattern paper pieces were in place, it was time to add the sentiment. Now for this, you can move it around, whatever looks best for you. I am going to leave it in pretty much the same place as what the sketch shows, but I am going to pop it up with some foam tape. So I have a little wiggle time if needed to get that place just right. I did bring in some Barely Art liquid glue, put it on top of the foam, and then got my sentiment put in place. While that is drying, I thought I would show you how I'm going to use that leftover scrap from earlier to do a little decorating on the inside of the card. The first thing I did was cut this piece to five and a quarter inches tall, and then I cut a strip that was one half inch wide. Now with that leftover, I brought in a one and a half inch circle punch, and I'm going to punch a partial circle out of the bottom left with the sunshine side facing up. Then to get this added to the inside, I put adhesive on the back of the skinny strip and put that over on the left with a nice even border on the edges. And then for the little sunshiny yellow circle, I added adhesive and placed it down in the left corner of that strip. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I created this cute, quick, and easy card using the September 2021 sheet load of cards. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. I have to say this is probably the quickest rewind I've ever done. I'm not sure I've ever done one where I made a single card. Let me know if you enjoyed this itty bitty rewind down in that comment section below. And now let me tell you how you can download the printable for free. If you would like to use the September 2021 sheet load of cards printable, whether it's for a full sheet load or a single, as always, I do ask that you're subscribed to my channel before you click on that download link. It's free, it's quick, it's easy. It's just that button right below this video. You're going to find the link to the September 2021 PDF down in the description box right below my PO box address. Below that, it will say to watch the video for a password, but right now, you watching this far is the password. You can download it to your device and open it and just use it on screen, or you can download it and then print it on your printer. That is totally up to you. Either works just fine. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.